Hi, in this video I'm going to be covering Fibonacci retracements and extensions and um, basically what Fibonacci um, is, what re uh, Fibonacci retracements are and the ratios and what the extensions are and how traders trade um, Fibonacci retracements and extensions. In this video though I'll be covering, I'll be more focusing on um, retra the retracement side of Fibonacci and in another video I'll be doing uh, extensions. So. Fibonacci ratios are a mathematical equation that are based on the Fibonacci number sequence discovered by a mathematician whose, I think his nickname was uh, Fibonacci and his real name was Leonardo Bigolo. I think that's how you pronounce his, his surname. But um, the ratio that was discovered by um, Fibonacci is found in all aspects of life from leaf arrangements in plants to measurements and proportions within a human body. So what traders have done is they've used certain Fibonacci um, ratios within the financial markets. Now, Fibonacci ratios um, are numbers that are used by traders to figure out the, um, the probably the distance or the level that a price may retrace to. So if you've watched um, the video on how to uh, trade a trend, you'll understand what a retracement or a pullback is. So if you haven't watched that yet, or you don't know what a retracement is, I suggest you you know pause the video or go and watch that video first on um, how to uh, basically trade trends, and then come back to this video um, if you don't understand what a, a retracement is. So. Um, and why retracements happen. So um, what we want to do is look for a retracement, right? So first of all, we see a move that goes from a low and to a high. And as prices pull back and retrace, there are certain levels within the market between this low or an identified low and this high um, that the market may want to retrace to. And these levels aren't exact, but the first level that prices may want to retrace um, using the Fibonacci ratios and the main Fibonacci ratio numbers are the 23.6, 23 and underneath that would be the 38.2. Then we'd have the 61.8. And then we have the 78.6. Now these are ratios and these are percentage, well these can be used as uh, percentages. So um, if this represents zero, and this represents 100, right? 100% 100 meaning that price, if prices did come all the way back down to an identified low after this was the low, this was the high, then prices have retraced 100%. Right, they've actually retraced 100% of this move higher. So uh, let's just take some of this off. Right, so this would be obviously zero, the absolute high prices haven't retraced at all. So these are all done as percentages and so on and so forth, all the way down. And so when prices do retrace to this 23.6 level, traders will look to see if prices will continue on their journey higher. If prices fail there, then there are traders that trade the 38.2% level and so on and so forth. So, uh, Fibonacci 
ratios are used as support in a in an uptrend or in a move that is uh, very bullish and traders hope to basically buy at certain retracement levels and in a downtrend or in a down move traders will be looking for the retracement and a pullback and um, these are used as resistance in a downtrend so let me draw the opposite if this was a move down and as I'm going back through the charts um, the retracement tool is actually found on your um, your software so whatever charting platform you are using whether it's trading view whether it's mt4 um, or c trader or anything like that it's pretty standard to have the Fibonacci retracement tool on there somewhere so you don't necessarily have to plot these lines yourself so in a down move and you're waiting for a certain retracement prices are pulling back so you would be waiting for certain levels so if this was the high and this was the low this would represent zero because prices haven't retraced at all they can't retrace from from the low and this would be the high this would be a 100 percent retracement if prices came all the way back up here and then the levels are again 23.6 and the 78 point Six. Now there are other um, Fibonacci numbers um, that are derived and th this would be like the 88.6 and um, there is a 50% level but strictly speaking um, the 50% level although you may see some people and some other traders use the 50% as a Fibonacci level, the 50% level actually isn't a Fibonacci number. Um, these are the ratios and the main ratios that are derived from the Fibonacci sequence. The 50% level is not a, um, a Fibonacci level, although it is traded um, by a lot of traders. So this is would be a down move. Prices would retrace back to certain levels and then you would have traders looking to get short at any of these levels if prices were to come up to any of these levels so these again just as this is a 23.6 percent um, retracement a 38.2 percent retracement of this move from the high to the low if we were looking to get short so traders use these as resistance areas um, and resistance zones to try and get short so what we're going to do now is we're going to look at how to um, or where to find um, if you're using trading view that is uh, your Fibonacci tool and also um, the best ways that traders will uh, trade the Fibonacci ratios this is the euro dollar currency pair and we are on the 60 minute um, one hour time frame chart now um, when plotting levels of um, or your Fibonacci levels what you want to do is first of all find your Fibonacci tool and uh, this is trading view and it's located on the um, left hand side and the default uh, image would be here which is basically like this pitchfork and then you would basically go down to Fibonacci retracement so Fibonacci retracement is here click on that um, if you're using a different platform like uh, MetaTrader 4 um, I think it's along the top of the toolbar somewhere if not you can just google um, where to find Fib the Fibonacci retracement tool on MT4 and there'll be some images um, I'm sure on Google so what we want to do now is once you have highlighted your Fibonacci retracement tool 
Um, again, the idea of using the Fibonacci retracement tool is for is to look for pullbacks and um, for retracements. Yeah, so you've seen a move like this, and you're you're trend trading. Let's say, for example, so you see a move, and you're looking at a level with which, um, or trying to predict a level. Um, at which you want to be a buyer. Now, you don't want to be a buyer at the top of the market. You want to look for a retracement into a level. And this is where Fibonacci actually can help um, with trying to predict how far the retracement uh, will go or can go. So what we've got is we've got a move up, an identified move up. And then what we would do is um, is plot our Fibonacci tool from the identified low and then we drag our Fibonacci tool to the high. So if we're looking for a pullback to be a buyer, you always go from low to the high. It should be You should drag the tool in the direction that you want to trade. So if you want to trade up, drag the tool up. If you want to trade to the short side, you're dragging the, trade, um, the tool to the downside, right? So we've got our identified um, level low to the high. And now what we're looking for is a retracement or certain retracement levels from this high. So you can see that prices, and let's zoom in. So prices had fallen. There were some traders that tried to enter here, which seemed, well, actually I'll use this tool here, right? So there are traders, if you look at the, uh, the left of the tool, you'll see the 23.6%. 38.2, 50, 61.8, and 78.6% retracement level. So we're waiting for price to basically come back down into these levels. The traders will be looking for price to retrace and then see if they can get a buy entry. So this may be used as a level of support. So this was the 38, this was the 618, this was 786 right and as you can see um, price as prices came down into the 38.2 level we got a bit of a reaction here not much and prices failed the 61.8 percent level didn't work but the 78.6 level did and as we can see prices went to the upside. Now, should Fibonacci um, levels be traded and should every level be traded? No, um, what you wanna do is look for confluence within that, at that level. So for example, this is just a tool um, and you should use it in conjunction with other tools. So if this level was a level of previous support or resistance, let's say for example, the 38.2 is a previous level of support and resistance. And we can check that out by going to the left. And was it, it looked like it was a zone. So we do draw our support and resistance levels as zones. You can see that this was an area where prices did come into the top of that um, you know resistance area now turned support but it just failed to hold if you look to the left the 61.8 level had been used as a level as well but we just didn't get the reaction that traders wanted as you can see that was a level, but what we did see was price react at the 78.6 level. So we can take this and we can see that there was a level where we had prices bounce off that level. So price was uh, resisted, supported, resisted, resisted and then supported at this level, the 78.6 level, and then we got a move to the upside. Um, so 
that's the way that traders or that's one of the ways that traders will trade uh, Fibonacci levels it's not it, well, it shouldn't be used as or they shouldn't be used as levels on their own they should always be used in conjunction with other um, indicators especially um, support and resistance and maybe other technical indicators if you do trade with indicators so in this example we had the Fibonacci retracement the 78.6 level was the ratio that prices decided to um, move higher from so now we have entered another move higher so we, this is the um, high and a higher low and if you watch our video on trend trading what we always always want to do is look for areas where we see uh, lows higher lows highs and um, lower highs uh, so if you have identified a level a low or a higher low that's where you really want to um, place your Fibonacci and it has to be an obvious level as well so again this would have been the higher low as we made a higher high here prices broke out from here so we would take the absolute low which would be somewhere around here and then drag the Fibonacci tool to the high and then wait for some confirmation of a level now we can see that prices at these levels here prices did come down to the 38.2 level this time so we had a bit of a bounce at the 23.6 prices struggled around there and at the 38.2 we had you know several bounces and prices went higher so the 38.2 was a level of interest was there a level that we could have um, any kind of confluence with that in this occasion there wasn't a level of confluence but we may have seen a bullish you know candlestick formation right here we could have seen uh, you know a sort of double triple bottom this level being tested once twice three times and then move to the upside so although we didn't get any kind of um, confluence regarding the uh, support level we did get maybe a candlestick formation double triple bottom at this price and maybe if you use the relative strength index or a moving average or a MACD there might have been some buying opportunities or buying signals at this level so it's always good to use the Fibonacci um, tool in conjunction with other uh, technical methods um, let's go through another one so we've got a swing high so we've got that would have been the low and then we've got a brand new high which is here and prices came right down into don't know if you can see that the 61.8 percent level before making a new high so it was this level here let's delete that so this is where the 61.8 level is and you can see price prices came down into this zone and and just like support and resistance the 61.8 level is a just a zone even though it's displayed as a line there they there it is a zone um, any kind of support level should be treated as a zone and not necessarily as an exact uh, level because there is um, an art to it um, so as we can see this was the low this was the high as prices have basically make made a new high from up here so this would have been the higher low and the higher high prices did retrace back into the 61.8 percent Fibonacci level and then prices went higher and I think this one would have went down to the 78.6 level yeah we can see that prices from this new high and this identified higher low 
prices came down into this area we had a couple of touches three four and then prices went higher so that's how you would use the Fibonacci retracement tool in an uptrend and I'll go through an example of how we would use it in a downtrend so this is the US dollar Japanese yen currency pair on the 240 the four hour uh, time frame chart and we're going to look for Fibonacci retracements in a downtrend so first of all we need to identify a potential trend so we want to see uh, prices making lower highs and lower lows so right here once we see prices making a lower high and a lower low we want to be on alert for a potential uh, trend so we're looking for some sort of pull back into a level so the underside of this level here would be the area we would look for so we've seen this new low a lower low and then prices retrace back now um, with the Fibonacci retracement tool we would take it from the high this time and we're trading it we're pulling it in the direction that we want to trade so it's from that lower high identified lower high to this level here to the new low and then we would wait for price to retrace back into a level before you know um, trying to get in at a trade now you can see here that prices came up into the 38.2 and even actually the 50% level somewhere between here but prices really around the 38.2 level as you can see it reacted here prices couldn't break above that 38.2 level and then prices went down we did have the confluence of a uh, previous support level turned resistance here now one thing I haven't mentioned is the golden ratio which is the 61.8% level this is known as the golden ratio um, of the Fibonacci uh, numbers this is a very very popular number for price to retrace to and if you actually think about um, where you are when it comes to the retracement you would think that the 23.6 level is quite an aggressive <coughs> sorry an aggressive entry when it comes to trading you must be expecting a very very strong trend for prices to kind of come back to that shadow retracement and then go further down um, the 38.2 is quite a popular one a popular ratio uh, amongst traders and as you can see with price let me uh, get this tool so as you can see as price did come up to this level pinged off it prices did go down prices came up couldn't go above it now depending on where you put your stop loss if you put it just above here or above here you may or may not have been stopped out um, but it looks like the 38.2% level held and prices did go further down but going back to the 61.8% Fibonacci golden ratio this is the ratio that traders tend to um, is popularized by traders um, and um, if prices do come up to the 61.8% level um, it is quite a good level with which to um, short from or buy from if we're in an uptrend so let's see if we can find a couple of examples of the 61.8% level right so we have a new low being made So when prices do retrace, they retrace back to this area here. Again, 
ping, 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 and then we make a new low. Now, what you also have to be careful of is that you don't want to necessarily trade every swing. So, and what I mean by swing is basically a lower high to a lower low or a, a lower high. Um, sorry, let me repeat that. You don't want to trade every uh, low, low and lower high or high and higher low. You really want it to be quite obvious, quite a quite a big move because shallow moves on um, you know traders aren't necessarily looking at those moves they're looking at the bigger picture so um, even though we do get another move down here and that would be an identified level we only really have one candlestick whereas here we have you know one two three four candlesticks that have you know gone below this low here so even though we're one candle below and technically we are on a um we have made a lower low as far as a retracement goes it's very you know difficult to actually trade this trade because you want to see maybe a few candles um below that level before prices do retrace back or or a more severe move to the downside so um if you wanted to retrace if you wanted to um, use the retracement tool still from this high to this low what you do have is prices which it's obvious that traders did use that as well you can see that prices came back up into that 61.8 percent ratio which is here and then prices did react there and you can see as well that you had the confluence of what was considered a support level and now term resistance in the future and we can see prices did react to that level and went lower so here's an interesting one where we have uh, price from this obvious high to this obvious low now we can see that prices did react to the 38.2 again reacted to this level prices didn't continue lower prices came up to the 78.6 level prices did react there and then they came up really to near the 100% level before reacting again. So there are times where Fibonacci, you know, not everything works 100%. Um, nothing in trading, we're always dealing with probabilities and I keep repeating myself, but just to drum it into you that it's probabilities. We are dealing with probabilities. So look at this level. Uh, let's have a look at this level here. So, um, it's not necessarily the clearest, but let's, if I was looking at that, I would look at this as, this would be an obvious high or lower high, and then this would be the lower low. So I would take that level there and look to here. And as you can see, prices did react at around just before that 78.6 level and we do have a level of we got a level of support bit of support here prices came back down and then prices came back up into and spiked nearly touching this 61.8 level eventually it did later on even if we dragged prices down to here we can see that this is definitely a level where traders were looking at with some sort of confluence as well. And we also have another level here. So you might want to take the obvious highs and the obvious lows. That's one of the things that you should always do is look for obvious highs and obvious lows. Don't look for, you know, um, obscure ones or or, or levels and higher lows and lower highs and highs and lows that um, are not clear 
if if in doubt then just don't um don't plot the zone from there it has to be extremely clear for you to uh, want to trade that level so um we have a pullback we have a little bit of a retracement here and then as we're looking at downtrends this would be the last swing before price is made and then we came back up into probably this 50% level now we've got a clear high to low and we can see prices did come back up into this sort of spike above it now again is Fibonacci perfect no Fibonacci isn't perfect all the time but that's how traders trade um, Fibonacci to the downside and to the upside the 23.6 level is quite an aggressive entry 38.2 is very popular prices will bounce and will um, hold off of the 50% um, level even though the 50% level is not considered and not technically a Fibonacci level but traders do use this level the 61.8 is the golden ratio and the 78.6 is quite a deep retracement so um, that's how you trade Fibonacci if you do have any questions just email me at info at trading180.com